Bienvenue dans Inside, l'émission qui aime les riffs endiablés. Bells et Bobs, c'est les chroniques d'une famille décalée, adorateur de Satan et tellement attachante. Son auteur, J.P. Aonen, est un père de famille, fan de cuisine et de métal, qui nous plonge au travers de strips en quatre cases dans un univers death metal tordant. Ce livre s'adresse bien évidemment à tous et pas seulement aux fans du genre. Un projet qui s'est d'ailleurs révélé comme une thérapie pour son auteur dans une période de doute de sa vie. Mais laissons l'artiste se présenter et nous en dire un peu plus. Yes, so I'm uh, JP Ahonen. I'm a Finnish comic book artist and illustrator. Parlez-nous de la jeunesse de Belzebubs. Vous attendiez-vous à un tel succès? Oh no, not not really, because uh, Belzebubs started as a therapy project just for myself, basically. I wanted to do something completely different than what I was doing at the moment. Like uh, all my other projects were really detailed and in color, and ended up taking. A lot of time and I noticed that uh, at the same time I was in a burnout and suffering from some sort of depression so I thought I'd try and uh, loosen up within work figured I'd somehow like draw myself out of the depression so I started improvising these uh, silly little uh, drawings and uh, for some reason took black metal as a loose theme because the black and white characters were fun to draw and uh, I had a few silly ideas in mind. Yeah, I started uh, developing it to uh, like a more thorough concept and then started publishing online because I hadn't tried uh, online comics before. Yeah, over time um, They picked up on social media really well, so Facebook started, uh, the strips started uh, spreading out really nicely, and uh, yeah, that's <laughs> it was a surprise. Et la thérapie a-t-elle fonctionné? Yeah, it uh, it somehow helped me find the joy in drawing again because before I was really somehow like crippled of. Uh, what I could publish, everything felt like too silly or uh, not polished enough, but uh, Beelzebub's helped me loosen up and relax and just uh, just get also the stupid ideas out there and like it sort of gave me confidence to mix all different elements and um, things I like and uh, test out with things. So it, it has helped in that sense, even though it's become a real monster in itself because there's the band and music videos and all that, but it's, uh, it's good fun, so. Dans Bells et Bubs, on suit donc à la fois une famille de métalleux, mais également un groupe de métal. Que pouvez-vous nous en dire? So basically there's uh, two storylines. There's the, the band, uh, the, the family life um, with uh, parents and two kids. Uh, the other one is a teenager girl and uh, the younger one is a boy around the age of nine or ten. Yeah, that part of the storyline is focusing on very mundane, normal uh, family problems and relationships. And uh, then there's the father's black metal band, Beelzebub's, which has its own problems, of course. Uh, for example, they're missing a drummer and they don't have any gigs and uh, they get fired from their uh, record label and all that sort of stuff. So it's uh, someone said that it's like a modern version of Adam's Family meets Spinal Tap and it's, <laughs> it's a rather good uh, reference point for this. The characters have started like writing themselves in a way. At first they were just simple one-shot jokes and gags and stuff and eventually um, like one strip inspires another and then all of a sudden you have like several strips in mind that okay well this will be a, like a little storyline and uh, then that might evolve into another. 
I have three small kids myself, so <laughs> there are some strips that, of course, have been is inspired by the like uh, life with a baby or, or something like this. And uh, but yeah, the characters and uh, situations pretty much uh, write themselves. And uh, now that we have the band thing going on, I try and uh, somehow keep the two evolving like uh, on a parallel. Le métal est avant tout un style musical, donc parlez-nous justement de ce projet musical Black Net Call et de son clip vidéo. Yeah, when I started publishing these strips online, the uh, initial idea was to, at some point, uh, test out incorporating uh, like uh, small snippets of music and uh, animation. And uh, at first, I thought that I'd do them by myself, both. But uh, since I have uh, musician friends in uh, proper metal bands. Uh, we talked with uh, a couple of friends that, yeah, we could do these short 20 second clips and uh, have fun with that. But uh, yeah, later on, um, as the project evolved and people really started uh, following the strip online and stuff, we thought that, okay, well, maybe we're thinking too small. So we ended up uh, like doing demos and pitching the idea to uh, Century Media record label. Et pourquoi pas un dessin animé? Yeah, I'd love a cartoon <laughs> from this, and uh, especially something that isn't exactly a collection of the jokes and strips that are already present, but uh, somehow bringing a new side to the whole whole concept. That would be amazing. Et maintenant, place au Test Inside. Le groupe Belzebub cherche un nouveau membre. Nous avons fait une petite sélection de candidats. À vous d'en choisir un au hasard et de le transformer en véritable Belzebubs. Ce sera donc Pikachu Pika Pika Nous avons hâte de voir le résultat. Ou la classe, on adore ce Metachu. Un nouveau membre parfait pour les Bells et Bubs. Sur ce, on vous dit à une prochaine dans Inside.